the corner of Hollywood and Vine, this is Hollywood Today Live Edition. I'm AJ Gibson, joined by Amanda Salas, Amy Paffrath, and Hyla. Hi. How are we doing? Good, good. How's it going? That necklace is kind of amazing. It's kind of blinging, right? Is your, is your neck sore? Sweet bling. Okay. Plug. Okay. Love you. Oh, I see what you did there. I yeah, see what you did. Thank nice. you for the opportunity. Set it up. I'll knock it out. You guys, tweet us at official HTL. Like us on Facebook and get ready because Justin and Selena are apparently taking the next big step. And I'm not talking about to the altar, but wait till you're here at the top of our Hollywood headlines. Bro. Okay, stay seated, you guys. Are Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber taking the next big step? Oh. Like I Amy think said. you're going to answer it. Yeah. <laughs> Not dun 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 dun. Like farting next to each other? Oh. Yeah. It's a relationship. Yeah. Pretty much. Finally, like, let yourself. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Get through it. That's a According, to single, single. <laughs> According to Gossip Site. According to Gossip Site Hollywood Life, Justin asked her to move in with him. Oh, okay. And she said yes. They're oh. in it for the long haul and the U-Haul. Oh. These sources also say that she's still keeping her own resident just in case. Good idea. Underwear. Good idea, probably. But yeah. otherwise, it's happening. The on again, off again couple have been back on for a while, but he's 20, she's 21. I mean, if it's true, do you think it's a good idea? Are they too young for such a big step? I lived with the boyfriend at that age, so I how, said, I how should go that, for it. How did that I'm work not out for you? with him anymore. Oh, well, there you right, go. Right. There you go. Right. But that's awesome. why you, you move in with it. someone. Yes. So you can discover whether you're down or not down. I'm fully for it. I do think you need to figure out totally. if you guys mesh together in that environment. Yeah. I'm all for living together before marriage. I know, it's black. Yeah, okay. But, or, or, okay. Well, I am too, but 20 and 21, yeah. I think he can't even get into a bar yet, so she can leave and oh, have a drink. Oh, what? He can't get into a bar. True. Do you know who he is? True, true, true. But I mean, on paper, on paper, there's things he still can't do in his life. I do agree with what Paffrath was trying to say that that like moving in together before marriage makes Agreed. sense. But we don't know that they're even close to marriage right yeah, now. Yeah, no, so I don't they're know on and this, off. I this is, I'm excited. We're gonna have something to talk about for months to come. So that, <laughs> as, as, an, as an entertainment host, that makes me really, really excited. However, <laughs> I think that this is gonna implode very quickly uh, yet again. I just again. think Selena should hide the eggs. Wait, the, like the eggs in the fridge or her yes. eggs? Yes. Well, the eggs in the fridge. Oh. So that they don't have another I thought you were talking about her eggs. eggs. Like she should also Keep hide those. Oh, it's a callback <laughs> to the oh. eggs in the house. <laughs> 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 Let's, all let's move on to somebody of a little, 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 a little more. Classier. Okay, a little classier. A little classier. Let's yeah, class let's class it up, y'all. Miley Cyrus could be in hot water with the Mexican government. Oh, Miley yeah. Cyrus performed in Mexico on the country's Independence Day, and um, but her butt slapped with the Mexican flag. Yeah, I guess somebody, uh, one of her dancers, was actually slapping her with the flag. Okay, that was oh. a good idea. Officials Ugh. now want to prosecute her with desecration. <sighs> that means. A $1,200 fine and 36 hours in jail. Throw the book at her or forgive her. Oh. Um, I, uh, a fine I think is cool. You're not yeah. going to put Miley Cyrus in the Mexican jail for a day and a half. That's is not that going to happen. Everyone from Mexico is trying to come to the United States. Because like, that's, that's what happens. That's what yes, that's if you desecrate the flag. I think she needs to apologize and pay the fine, though. Yeah. Yes. She, she definitely needs to, yeah. Yeah, she can afford the fine. It's not like she's just kind of like there and someone was doing it to her, right? Well, yeah, if you actually watch the video, it's not oh. it's not apparent that she actually knows that they're using the flag unless I mean, she may have seen it earlier. I don't know that she knew they were actually using the flag because they were smacking her on her butt, but she had on a fake prosthetic butt at the time. So she probably didn't even feel it, um, but it was all part of the show. Regardless, though, I, Paulina Rubio, I think, uh, got charged with a fine a few years ago. Had to pay four thousand dollars for doing something uh, else with a Mexican flag. And on top of everything else, yeah, posing, wrapped mm -hmm. it. She was, had it on her. She was naked. Uh, also, it's Mexican Independence Day. If it were the Fourth of July oh, and man. some foreign artist came to our country and mm -hmm. did some of this yeah. stuff with a flag, like I think we'd probably be upset about it. Yes, so, yeah, yeah, pay the fine, move on, my yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so there have been a lot of rumors about Ariana Grande's alleged diva behavior lately. Uh, we hear she charges hundreds of dollars for meet and greets, but won't take one-on-one -on -one photos. Uh, that's just the first one. Uh, that she stormed out of a photo shoot recently, and that she told one person in her camp that she wishes her fans would die. All according to sources, of course, and Ariana took to Twitter to respond, having this Sounds to say. Like when I read AJ's Wikipedia. Yes, very, 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 very sources. So some of these rumors that have been coming 
coming out lately uh, about me lately actually have me laughing out loud. Uh, sooner or later, people will realize that what you put out is what you get back, the lies slash hate, etc. cetera. Uh, not to quote rent, but I'm going to quote rent. I love it. Uh, <laughs> share love, give love, measure your life in love. Uh, so who do we believe? And can you really distrust someone who quotes rent in Twitter? <laughs> I mean, that's just silly. I mean, I really. Rent. I, I mean, rent rent's too. great. You're talking I mean, about in here. rent's great, but I don't quote it on Twitter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Naya Rivera stops spreading rumors about Ariana Grande. I know, right? She's trying to get some of the heat off of her back. Yeah. What's really happening right now? Good call. You're on fire today, Salas. Let it go. Uh, this one's interesting to me because one or two stories about diva behavior, I think we can usually ignore. It's like, eh, whatever. People are just saying what they were going to say. Sure. But five, six, 20 stories about the same person in a very short period of time. Apparently, she charges $495 for a photo op, right? And a lot of, this is pretty common, a lot of celebrities do this. Miley Cyrus does it, uh, Britney Spears does it, uh, Katy Perry does it. But the difference is Ariana Grande does not allow for solo shots. Only groups. Only groups. All these other artists will allow you to get a one-on-one -on -one shot for that price, and Ariana Grande doesn't. It's uh, Juliana Rancic had a lot to say about this as well over at E! And she was talking about how... You know, if you're compared to Mariah Carey, which apparently is in her writer, that you're not allowed to bring that up in any interviews. Um, but Juliana had this to say, something along the lines of, if you get to that that level in your career, then you can demand things. Mariah Carey, you do anything it takes to get that interview. But when you're an up and comer and you've been out for a year or so, like as a musician, little See, diva. I don't want to automatically assume that all these rumors are. Legit. You think none of them are true? Not a single one. Well, because you say, oh, when there's th so many articles come out, you got. Oftentimes, these articles come from like one source, mm -hmm. and then everyone just bites onto them, right. and then rewrites their own version sure. of it. Sure. Sure. So, right. I mean, we see that all the time. We also see oftentimes where there's smoke, there's fire. And if there's enough smoke for enough time, ew, there might be a fire somewhere. I say we cough up the $495. Yes. Just meet and greet. Yes. You go yeah. undercover. Yeah. Throw this thing out the water. Yes. Who's with this? You're brilliant. I'm with you. Let's find out for yeah. ourselves. No well, more he Ron, Ron Bloom, do you have a checkbook? Yeah, Ron. Ron Bloom, can Uncle you get your checkbook Ron out? Ron would Uncle like Ron. to go meet Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah. Interesting story. We'll see. I mean, I think she's a great talent. And I think if we yeah, could focus on the fact is, that she's really talented. But if that's true, she might retire early in Boca Raton, where she came from. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yikes, 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 yikes. Let us know what you me. guys think about all of this, this gossip and scandal by tweeting us at official HTL. And keep watching. From Mad Men, Tiana Paris is here. Uh, from the original, Sebastian Roche is here. Yeah. And from Tyler Perry's If Loving You Is Wrong, Edwina Finley is also here. Three Woo. guests, one day. Huge day, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's packed. Come back. We've got more on Hollywood State Live Digital Edition.